and walk no sunshine. Wow, wow, go, 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 bum, bum. I'm so one way. Happy Valentine's Day, first off, to all those lucky people out there in relationships, well done you. To all you single people like me. Two days ago I showed you the behind the scenes of my TV advert, which was very exciting. But now I'm going to show you and tell you about everything that went wrong. And be honest with you about all the problems that you might face, because you know what, it's not always easy. Now there's a very obvious thing I need to address. I'm dressed as a f***ing clown. But sometimes, you don't have a choice. And if you're the director and it's your project, then it's on you to always make sure you've got a solution. In this case, I was the solution. I tried so hard to find someone to play the clown and no one wanted to, and I can completely understand why. And then towards the day before, I did get a few people saying yes, and suddenly I had two or three people. Great! Until they all dropped out one by one, and then the person that could do it lived so far away wasn't really worth it. So that's when I realised that that clown suit I'd bought was for this guy. It was a cold winter's day, I was walking around in a suit blowing cold air at me. Brilliant. Now there's two bits of advice for this. The first one is, if you have to, you're going to have to step in and commit. But the second piece of advice is you want to do everything to avoid that. Because it is not easy to direct when you're involved in the actual team. I'm going to tweak that light that's just fallen over. So if you can, you want to avoid that at all costs, because it makes things ten times harder. I couldn't follow it as it happened, I actually just had to review it at the end of each take or trust the guys if they said it wasn't right or it was right and then I'd watch it back. I spent half an hour doing my face in like makeup, in fact I couldn't even get something out of my beard, have a look. So that's my first piece of advice, commit if you have to but avoid it at all costs. I'd done a location scout, I'd found the right place but obviously I hadn't brought my mics along and I wasn't expecting to need to test it. The time mics not working, can't figure out why, just nothing. And then we thought, okay, we'll just boom it over the top. The signal from the Rode NDG3 wasn't coming through, and that mic is flawless. I mean, that mic never, ever does that. So if something's going wrong, I'm thinking, well, surely it's my Marantz recorder. What's going on here? The only way we could get sound, and it took several attempts to even get this to work, was to get the Rode NDG3 plugged into the FS5 on the gimbal. We, we're lucky that we had about four or five different audio solutions to try. And in the end, we went with the only one that worked, but it was the least practical. So problem two leads on to problem three. The XLR going straight into the FS5 on the Ronin gimbal, suddenly that Ronin gimbal has another thing fighting against it and it's struggling to do it. Justin did an amazing job getting that shot, but his life would be made so much easier if we'd had that sound problem fixed, because suddenly he's tethered and we're trying to work around and we all cramped in this little space. And what it meant was that in post I'd do a few warp stabilizers where the XLR cable had, you know, knocked the gimbal slightly and pulled it slightly. So advice number three, is employ crew and a team around you that you trust who are excellent. Without Justin, that shot could not have been possible. He made that happen and that's what you need to have. You need to have an incredible crew around you that you can rely on and that also understand when things go wrong, it's not necessarily all on you and that they're prepared to chip in and help out however they could. Riyad and Justin and I were all trying to figure out this sound problem. None of us could figure out what was going on, but hats off to them both. Absolute legends making that film actually happen. Okay. Problem number four. You might have noticed in the behind the scenes there's a double bass player. You might have noticed also in the film there's not. Here's what happened. I really, really wanted a double bass player. So the line was, With two extra minutes you can score a winner. Or a masterpiece. But because I was a clown, I couldn't see the framing. So I was trying to bring everyone in together, make sure I got everything in shot. But by the end of it, because we were so pushed for time, when I was reviewing it back, I didn't even notice that the double bass wasn't in there which is completely my fault, 100% my fault. But not only that, it led to a huge issue in the music composing. Again, a big hats off to Simon Porter, absolute hero, managing to make a score to fit in that double bass. And yeah, you can still hear it, but it fits, it works, it sounds intentional. That is not an easy thing to do. And so the mistake I made here was to not do a clean cut without the double bass. So, sorry Bastion you didn't make the cut. Sorry Simon for making your job harder. I love you both. Last point, and this is one that you will all have experienced, is a lack of time. We started early, but I knew the sun would be going down around half three, four, because we were shooting in December. Not only that, but people had commitments with kids where they had to leave early, and what it meant was that I had a very narrow window to create the synchronised event. Okay, it's a one take, which means that I have to get the perfect take. I can't fix it in the edit. I don't have an edit. There's one take. The clown took time away in reviewing, took time away in getting dressed up as a clown. 
the sound, took time away from figuring it out. That took us about an hour and a half to figure out. So I'm already looking at about two hours lost. And suddenly my window is so much shorter, but I got away with it. I got away with it because I started early. I planned, I looked after people. I had a crew around me who were brilliant. You can't ask more than that. Okay, we only got about 10 takes at it. That's about all we had time-wise. Of those, about three were usable and only one of them was pretty close to what I wanted anyway. But you make your own luck. That's the takeaway from today. You make your own luck or you save your own skin. If you can prepare enough, if you can give yourself enough backups, then you're gonna have a solution, particularly if you've got those around you who are prepared to help and have their own ideas. Whew. That was exhausting just reliving that, to be honest with you. I mean, that's not a romantic story for Valentine's Day. I feel like I need a beer. Like, I might actually just go to the pub down the road, have a beer by myself. That is tragic. That is a really tragic existence. Oh well, see you tomorrow.